Thank you, Billy. And um, these questions have been drawn from questions sent to the help desk email address and also raised at uh, previous webinars. Um, so first of all, we'd like to point you to the fact that the model ocean terms and conditions have been uploaded on a Flexi grant. Um, so you can uh, find them there and it should be in time for the submission in a couple of weeks uh, by the deadline of 2nd of April. Um, these are the modal terms and conditions. Um, in terms of your project ideas, as help desk, we are unable to comment on project ideas. But what we can say is that if your project falls under at least one of the Blue Planet Fund outcomes and or at least one of the focal ecosystems or focal taxa mentioned in the application form, then Ocean is interested in funding your work. Uh, it will really depend on how you phrase your project idea, your methodology, um, your application as a whole, but I think that's the general guidance we can give you. In terms of project activities, we're really keen to hear from you, but in this slide here, we have listed some activities um, that Ocean may be interested in funding. This is a non-exhaustive list, it's just examples. So again, we're very keen to hear from you. Um, in terms of the British Embassy High Commission, I'm going to post in the chat a link. Um, so all you need to do is click on the link I just posted, look for your country, that's your project country. Um, um, scroll down to the contact us section and there you will find a, an email address or an online contact form you need to fill in to contact the embassy. So just explain your project idea, who the lead organization is, who the partner organization are, and um, ask for any comments. Do not worry if they don't respond. What is key is that you're able to prove you have conduct, uh, contacted the embassy um, quite at the early stage of the application process. So 1st of April, for example, wouldn't be a good idea <laughs> given that the deadline is on the 2nd of April. And just save a PDF copy of your email or the response of the High Commission or British Embassy. If you have missed uh, one of our webinars, we do upload all the recordings on our YouTube channel which I'm going to post in the chat. Um, we will be uploading the recordings of this webinar as well. Just keep in mind, it takes us a few days to upload the recording. So just keep checking uh, the YouTube channel. Um, in case you are a university uh, wishing to apply, Yes, universities and research institutes may be lead organization. They may receive funding, although they might be partly government funding. That's OK. But you need to uh, demonstrate that your inclusion and the activities you'll be carrying out um, strongly demonstrate good value for money within the project proposal. Um, if you are a private sector organization, a business or a business association, uh, you can receive funding, um, but as a partner organization, you cannot be the lead organization. And um, in the case of partnership grants, you cannot be the only partner organization. So you must have at least two partners, one of which is a private sector organization if you are choosing that composition. Um, Government agencies, intergovernmental organizations, for example, UN agencies uh, can be partner organizations. They cannot be lead organizations, but they may not receive funding, which means they can only provide in-kind contribution. 
Um, if you're the local office of an international NGO or an in-country organization that is part of a federation or closely associated with an NGO umbrella organization, um, you can apply. Uh, it can be the lead organization or the partner organization, it depends also on your income levels. In any case, we strongly recommend in the ethos of uh, ocean that you also have a local partner at least one local partner which is outside your umbrella organization so just don't partner within the same umbrella organization um, you can submit more than one proposal and you can be leading one proposal and partner in another proposal. Uh, we do strongly encourage you to go for quality as opposed to quantity. Keep in mind that the expert committee will see all the applications you're part of. And so we'll take this into account. I think the reason in that is that we do not want funds to go to the same organization or umbrella organization so it will be kept into consideration if your project is based in an upper middle income country um, that's fine it's eligible but you'll need to demonstrate a stronger case for support and we provide some specific guidance in section 6.1 of the application form so, oh, oh, sorry, of the guidance note for applicants. So please refer to the guidance note for applicants. Um, all the applications need to be submitted in English. Um, and for the supporting document, um, English unofficial translation is fine if you don't have them available in English. In terms of terrestrial or freshwater projects, um, keep in mind that the goals of ocean are to um, increase marine protection and reduce poverty. So you really need to demonstrate how your project objectives support local coastal communities to deliver marine protection and poverty reduction. Um, Coming on to the financial questions, it is mandatory to provide the three years of accounts. Um, there's no way around this. As Billy explained, we are um, expecting to see accounts for 2000, uh, um, 2023, 2022 and 2021. I think it's okay if we don't have 2023 ready. Um, so it could be 2022, 2021, 2020, but nothing really older than uh, 2020. And they need to be the accounts of the lead organization, so the, um, and they need to be audited, externally audited. Uh, the accounts can be in a currency which is not British pounds, just make sure the currency is clearly stated on the account as we will be running checks to make sure that you have calculated your average annual income correctly and the amount you are seeking um, correctly as well. Um, in terms of calculating the average annual income, that's the average of the past three years based on the uh, financial accounts for the past three years of the lead organization. You can apply up to three million pounds. And in terms of um, the um, annual value, that must not exceed 50% of the lead organization annual income. In terms of purchasing equipment or funding construction works, um, we invite you to review the section on capital costs in our finance guidance so it should not be capital costs should not be more than 10 percent of the total uh, project value um, keep in mind also that this is the first round of funding we will have a second round in october 
Uh, we will publish exact dates uh, through a, our newsletter when available. So do sign up uh, to our newsletter via the uh, website. And then we'll have annual uh, rounds of funding. So round three will be in October 2025, round four, October 2026, and so on. Um, so in case you're unable to apply this time, um, you can apply in future rounds.